Number one in 88 films is a collection is Hex and this image on the front probably looks very familiar because it does to me and we'll get into that when we're talking a little bit about the later part of the movie. Hex, I wasn't really sure what I was getting into. Now, I've seen a couple of movies from this collection so far. I've seen Five Elements Ninjas, which was wonderfully campy, action-packed, just pure enjoyment. I have saw Black Magic 2, which was just completely balls-to-the-wall crazy. Absolutely fantastic in that over-the-top uh, 70s Italian feeling about it. And I threw on Hex and discovered something that I wasn't expecting at all. It is an almost gothic type of horror story, ghost story. And we're thrown into this pairing, we get a little bit of backstory about this family who have hit hard times. Um, a husband who married a wealthy sort of daughter and now the money's kind of going away. They still live in a, a big house, but he is extremely belligerent, likes to get drunk, is constantly abusive to the staff, to his wife who is perennially ill at certain times or just most of the movie and he is just he's just a horrible character right from the start you just don't like him his demeanor his actions his uh, sense of self-worth and the way he treats everybody round about him the wife on the other hand seems to be a little bit more pragmatic understanding the situation and the way things should be as to the way things currently are and, and, and she although ill empathizes a lot with a lot of the other characters and we ultimately see uh, the husband kind of wear her down until there's no servants left he's beat them all and picked on them and driven them out for the house we then get this woman who stops by just to pay respects to her who sees the state that she's in and decides to stay with her and try to nurse her back to hell health and she gets attacked by the husband several times and eventually can't take it fights back and these two women in a moment of rage end up killing the husband and that's where things take some strange turns i, I really kind of dug this movie right from the start I, I i i knew that it was manipulating me with the characters i liked the wife i hated the husband when they finally these two women uh, snap and, and kill the husband i was cheering them on and then things start to happen the body disappears ghostly apparitions start to happen round about the house spooky strange images happening and it's really effective now the movie takes turns i wasn't expecting but i should have uh, when i think about it in hindsight but it takes these turns and it carries forward with this really wonderfully dark and spooky images um we see people constantly haunted uh, by strange ethereal presences. We get an exorcism scene at the end. We get a very obvious on the nose uh, homage to Quaiden uh, with the Hoachi, uh, the earless <laughs> in this one, which goes back to the cover of this. It's very apparent to that movie. It's stealing a lot from it um, with that kind of aspect, which is unusual but we'll forgive it for that I suppose because it's got so many good things about it. The exorcism scene that I was talking about is utterly bonkers. This was the kind of thing that I would have fitted quite comfortably in amongst Black Magic 2. We have a spirit who has turned up, who has been challenged by a medium and who fights back or tries to break free of this spell by dancing about naked for a good chunk of time. I'm not fully opposed to that, but it did seem to continue to go on and on and on. I don't think it was a bad thing, no. The special effects are great. The, the mood, the atmosphere, the setting of this is wonderful. I like the way that it's just limited in its amount of characters and it's extremely playful with the information that it's telling you, but it never feels as if it's robbing you of the breadcrumbs to earn uh, unpick this story you get revelations at the end of it that I don't know are necessary at all but I kind of liked the revelations that we got at the end of this but ultimately I really kind of liked Hex it was a movie that caught me off guard started as that kind of ghost story and moved it to something more horrific and kind of genre specific near the end 
is a kind of mix and match of various kind of Asian movies. Brilliant. I, I really did enjoy this one. I think it's uh, really fun, really enjoyable. So far I've watched three movies from the Asia collection. I think I've got another three or four sitting there. And, and I'm in. They are pretty different, pretty fantastic. And I'm looking forward to the next one. Have you seen Hex? What's your thoughts on it? Let me know in the comment box below. I'll see you next time on my V-Film.